Kiev is being put under growing pressure by the anti-government unrest and demands for greater autonomy in eastern Ukraine. Lugansk is the latest city where protesters have seized official buildings. <laughs> the local administration building, prosecutor's office and police headquarters have all been taken over. The interim leaders in Kiev accused the local police of inaction and treachery. And now protesters say they will only leave the buildings if the governor agrees to negotiate. Well, they're demanding an amnesty for political prisoners and a referendum on self-determination. They also want uh, Russian to be made an official language alongside Ukraine. Artis Paul Leslie met those occupying the administration building in Donetsk, the hub of the pro-autonomy protests. Three weeks ago, this building was taken over by pro-federalization people. This is now their headquarters, and volunteers man the place 24-7. But until then, this was actually the regional administration building. This is where the governor sat. This is where laws were passed. This is where the budget was approved. And now it's fenced in and guarded. Only those with special permission can get in. Before the building was seized on the 7th of April, this father of two was a garage mechanic. He gave up his job to be here. I hope to get a better job after this is over. I don't want to have to worry about whether I make enough to feed my family. It's the same reason this 23-year-old is here. He was a construction worker who was struggling to make ends meet. Now his job is checking people's ID passes. His family worries for his safety, phoning him several times a day. But he says the risk is worth it. I am ready to fight to the end and will stay here as long as necessary. I am fighting for my future, for my ideas, and for the development of this region and our industries. There are 11 floors in the building. One is where the self-defense unit guys sit. Another is the press center. And then right at the top is where the People's Republic of Donetsk operates from. This man is 28 years old. He also wants to see change. He was a miner. When this is over, he plans to return to his job. I am worried and so is my family. I was never involved in anything like this before. It's the first time I'm using weapons. But I think it is worth risking my life for this cause. You only live once, and a man must fight for his future. In one section of the building is the clinic. The injured are brought here immediately after confrontations. If they can't be helped, they're sent to hospital. Lily put him for leave from her full-time job as head nurse to be here. It's my duty as a medic to provide help where it's needed. After this, I will return to my job, but I feel they need me here right now. For now, all eyes are focused on this building, because what happens here and what is decided inside has repercussions for all of Ukraine. Paulus Lea, RT, Donetsk.